racing fans on the ace of pace, Ray Wallen. Now, normally I'm here talking to you about pace, how the pace of a race is going to set up, or how to identify different running styles. But today, something totally different. We're going to talk exact this as part of U.S. Racing's new series, Why to Bet. So just like your second grade book report, we're going to cover the who, what, when, why, where, and how of Xactus. So the first couple are easy. Who? You. Where? At the track, at your OTB, online at sayusracing.com, or your bookie Jimmy. Why? Because Xactus can offer more value than a straight win bet. The what? An Xactus. Simply put, it is a wager that selects the horses finishing first and second in a given race. So tracks may use terms like exactor or perfecta. There are three basic types of exacta. The first is a straight exacta, which is the two horses finishing in exact order. In an exacta box, you give any number of horses that can finish in any order in the top two spots. If you key a horse, meaning you take one horse for one spot, you can either partially or fully wield the field below. Partially wheeling the field means you're selecting two or more horses for the second position. A full wheel would mean the balance of the field. To play a straight exacta, you would say the track, race number, amount, then exacta with the first and second position runners. For example, Penn National race two, two dollar exacta, four with five. This is a two dollar wager, four to win and five to place. To play an exacta box, it would be Penn National race two, two dollar exacta box, three, four, five. This would be a twelve dollar wager, six combinations. To figure the number of combinations in your exacta box, you would take the total number of horses in your box. Multiply by one less than the total number of horses in your box. So, for example, if you had a four horse box, it would be four times three for a total of 12 combinations. To play an exacta where you key a horse, you'd say Penn National Race 2, $2 exacta, four with one and three and five. This would be a $6 wager for the three combinations for one, four, three, and four, five. You can use more than one horse in the first position as well. For example, Penn National race two, two dollar exacta, three and four with three and four and five. This would be a four dollar wager for the combinations three four, three five, four three and four five. If you wanted to wheel the whole field, you would simply say two dollar exacta, four with all. You can also key a horse in the second spot, two dollar exacta, all with four, or two dollar exacta, one and three and five with four. The key here is that to group horses together for either first or second, you use and, and when you're separating the finish positions, you use the word with. All right, so when should you play an exacta? When you've identified a small group of contenders for the race for both the top and second spots, and not necessarily the same horses. When the will pay suggests you will not be losing money by playing multiple combinations. If you have long shot contenders, you can increase your payouts with an exacta, especially if you think the favorite is weak. What should you avoid? Too many combinations. This negates your potential return. Use the will pays to see probable payouts. If you can't narrow the field down to an affordable sized wager, where you feel it's too wide open to select your contenders, you should probably pass on the race. How should you structure an exacta? This will depend greatly on how confident you are with your contender or contenders within a given race. There are many different ways to do this, and you must tailor to your own style of handicapping. Here are a few examples of what I look for. A clear-cut lone contender, or a standout from your handicapping. This could be a strong lone early speed horse, or a horse that has a huge class advantage. In the first example, the number one is my clear-cut lone contender, and I do think that two other horses in this race have a good shot for place. In this case, I would key the horse on top and wheel the second place contenders underneath. In this case, at 3 to 5, the horse will pay 320 to win. Looking at the exacta will pays for the two exacta combinations we consider, 1 3 and 1 4, we see a $2 wager will pay either $10 or $8, which equates to a net profit of 6 or $4 respectively. Using the same $4 as a win wager on the 1, this would return us 640 or twice the 320 with a net profit of $2.40. So in this scenario, I would still play the horse that I like to win in the 1 but get a better price than a straight win bet. Sometimes you'll find a clear-cut win contender and a clear-cut place contender in a race. In that case, you could just play a straight exacta or one combination instead of the win bet. Again, it is important to check the will pays to make sure you are not going to lose money on your wager if any of your exacta combinations come in. A small group of contenders. 
Typically, I will consider boxing an exacta when I find a group of two or three contenders, which I feel all have a legitimate shot to win or place in a race. In this case, we consider boxing the three horses since all six of the potential combinations will return a profit. In the case where I don't think number five is a win contender, I wouldn't box this race, but rather would use number one and number three for the top spot to minimize the number of combinations. In our last example, we really like a long shot. At nice odds of 12 to 1, he is certain to bring value regardless of who finishes second. In this case, you may want to consider playing this horse on top of the exacta with the rest of the field underneath. Or if you can pull a couple of horses out, if you'll have no chance, reduce the cost of your ticket. When I feel good about a long shot, I will often back up my bet with the reverse, wheeling the entire field over my long shot in the second spot. Since you do have a secondary win contender, it is important to not neglect the chance you may win and include them on a ticket over your place contenders. A few final thoughts and tips. Try to eliminate the number of combinations with shorter priced horses to maximize your profits. Key instead of box. The reverse is true when you love a long shot. Don't be cheap. The will pays will all likely show a profit and no one wants to have their 20 to 1 shot on top but have cheapened out a second place by a horse or two. Don't be afraid to hit the all button. When you handicap for contenders, not all win contenders will be placed contenders, and vice versa. Try handicapping for both spots. It is okay to vary the amounts you're wagering to make certain combinations more profitable when playing multiple exactas. You may need to play $2 on one series of combinations and say $4 on another series to make it a profitable wager. Lastly, remember to check the will pays to make sure that you're not going to end up losing money even though you'll have a winning ticket. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Google Plus, at US Racing, through my blog, or my website, www.theaceofpace.com. As always, remember to check the track conditions and adjust for any scratches or changes before placing your wagers. Good luck.